Hello students, let's proceed for next numerical, which is number 19. You can see that there is a metallic ring, which has mass of 1 kilogram, whose momentum inertia is 1 kilogram meter square, where it is rotating about an axis passing through one of its diameter. So, let's try to understand, is there a ring here? And it is rotating about this diameter. So diameter से जब वो rotate करता है, so that is what we call as moment of inertia about y-axis. And मेरा lecture number 11 आप observe कर लो, उसमें मैंने ये सब cover किया हुआ है, about moment of inertia about different axis. So about diameter, formula आता है mr square by 2, okay? And उसका value दिया हुआ है question में, which is 1, okay? iy value is given 1. So I can write, therefore, m r square divided by 2 is equal to 1. I by the value 1 substitute here. Okay? Now what they have said, it is molten and remolded into a disc of same radius. So, it melt and it has made it in a shape of the disc. Okay? Radius is the same. Now, the ring is molded form. It has not been removed from it. So, if you make it in a disc, then the mass will be the same. So, somewhere, mass is going to remain the same. Mass and as well as radius is the same. That is the change. So, what did they ask you? How much will be the moment of inertia? How much will be the moment of inertia? And it should rotate about its own axis. Now, this is very important. In this case, about its own axis, मतलब center से, okay? I hope you remember the formula. I see we had derived this and the formula came was m r square by two. So I hope you understand m r square by two का value one है, तो इधर में answer क्या आएगा? One, okay? So कोई changes नहीं होगा, you will get the same answer. The reason being this, reason is this because mass and radius has not been changed. Hence the answer comes as one. Very easy numerical. Okay. So students, we are proceeding for the next question, which is twenty. You can observe here we have a dumbbell for water building. Okay, and it has a uniform rod. Obviously, this is that uniform rod, which has mass sixty gram. Consider करना. So I denote capital M as the mass of that uniform rod. Okay. And its length 20 cm, L is equal to 20 cm. I have shown it. Then two identical solute spheres of mass 25 g and radius 10 cm are at the two ends. So these are spherical objects. Okay, this mass is considered as 25 g. Now try to understand, in the textbook it is 50 g. I have changed it to 25 g because our answer will match with the textbook. There is some error in the textbook regarding this. So small m is the mass of the sphere and uska radius small r which is 10. Now this diagram is not drawn up to the scale. They say ye agar 20 hai, to half of this, this will be 10, this will also be 10 and uh, radius of this sphere is also 10. So ye equal nahi dik rahe. So please try to adjust that. It is not drawn up to the scale. Okay. This is also 10 and this will also come as 10. Next part. What they have asked? Moment of inertia pure dumbbell ka find karna hai about an axis which is passing through its center and perpendicular to its length. So about this axis, aapko moment of inertia find karne ka hai. So in this case, aap observe karo ke to there are two shapes. First is a rod. So rod ka formula use karna padega. And second one is a sphere. Sphere ka formula use karna padega. So regarding this formulas, my lecture number 11 you observe it. In that I have covered ring, sphere, rod, all of these are covered. So we are supposed to find moment of inertia, capital I. Now try to understand how we are going to solve this. We will solve this in different parts. First, we find moment of inertia in the rod, which is the direct formula. I of rod is equal to m l square divided by 12. Okay, so m is 60, 
L is 20 into 20 and this is divided by 12. One's a five, five twos are 10, 10 twos are 20 and two more zeros. So this is how we get 2000. Okay, rod ka mil gaya. Got this? 2000, it is written over here. Now about sphere, try to understand. Sphere ka formula hai 2 by 5 mr square. Correct? But wo yahan se center se pass ho hai to. Agar wo axis center se axis se dur hai. Jaysi ki yahan se find karna hai. To humko kya karna padega? Humko parallel axis theorem lagana padega. I hope you remember that. So agar mujhe ye axis se find karna hai. So that will act like my IO. Which will be equal to IC plus MH square. Okay? So IC. That is sphere ka center. So it's the formula 2 by 5 mr square plus m and h. h is the distance between the two parallel axes. So we have to find this axis. Se. So this distance is how It will be equal to 20 cm. Which I have shown on this side. This side we have observed. This is 10 and this is 10. So that is how we get 20. Here also it will come as 20. Okay, so here it will 20 square. Bas isko solve karte hai. 2 by 5 into mass. I am supposed to consider 25. Radius of sphere is given as 10. Yahan par capital R hi dhe dao man. So 10 ka square 100 plus again 25 and 20 ka square 400. Let's solve this. 1s are 5s are 5 2s are 10 and 2 more zeros. Yahan 1000 a gaya iska answer. 20 by 4 is that will give me 100 and 2 more zeros. Yahan par 10,000 aage. So I got answer as 11,000 gram centimeter square. Gram mein hi rakha hai, centimeter mein hi rakha hai sab cheeze. Now try to understand, ye to sirf ek hi sphere ka hua calculation. We have two such sphere. So total moment of inertia for two spheres. For two spheres, we will have how much? 2 into 11,000. That will give me 22,000. Now we have total moment of inertia find karna hai. Ek to rod ka bhi aega, as well as dono sphere. Ka bhi so that is how I total will be equal to I for rod plus I for both spheres. So here I get 2000. Yahan par mila tha rod ka and either 22,000. And that is how our final answer comes as 24,000. And this is the way this sum is done. Let's proceed for next sum, which is 21. You can observe that we have a flywheel, okay? And it is set into rotation. Uska RPM diya hua hai, 100. So, I have told you that RPM is nothing but the frequency m is equal to 100. And this is what I have told you which is divided by 60. Okay, so I will write 100 divided by 60 RPS. Now, what is given ki flywheel actually a disc hai. It is in the form of a disc. This ka mass is 10 kg. So capital M is mass of flywheel se denote kar raho. And uska radius bhi diya hua hai, which is nothing but 0.4 meter. So yaha diagram mein dekho, yehi wo flywheel sam lo, which is in the form of disc. Idhar ek, uska center point hai. आगे क्या दिया है? A lump of clay. Clay का कुछ एक object, okay? जिसका mass दिया हुआ है, how much? It is given as 1.6 kg. वो यहाँ पर stick किया हुआ है. And others, others means stick. कितना distance पे? At certain distance x. वो हमको distance पता नहीं है. तो clay is at a distance x, ठीक है? And उसके बाद wheel का rotation अभी change हो जाएगा. 80 RPM हो रहा है। I hope you understand। अगर कोई object यहाँ पर heavy डाल दोगे, तो definitely अभी तो उसको rotate होने में time लगेगा, correct or not? So now new rotation R 80 RPM, that is 80 divided by 60 RPS. This was your N1, this was your N2, and हमको ये distance x find करने का है। So how we are going to solve this question? This question is actually related to law of conservation of angular momentum. By that law, what we have understood? We have understood that initial momentum always remains equal to final momentum. 
तो इनिशियल मोमेंटम जो होगा ठीक है उसका फॉर्मूला लिखेंगे इज इक्वल टू फाइनल मोमेंटम एंड देन उसमें सब्सिट्यूशन कैसे करना है दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट तो लेट्स स्टार्ट आई विल राइट बाय लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन शॉर्ट में लिख रहा हूं ऑफ एंगुलर मोमेंटम ओके वी कैन राइट इनिशियल मोमेंटम is always equal to final momentum okay so initial momentum that is l1 is equal to l2 l l ka formula kya hota hai i omega so i omega 1 1 is equal to i omega 2 2 ab isme substitution kaise karna hai let's try to understand dekho so, now i1 matlab moment of inertia of the disc इनिशियली क्ले तो चिपका हुआ था नहीं तो पहले क्ले को इग्नोर करो कि पहले क्ले था ही नहीं तो तभी मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया क्या रहेगा सिर्फ डिस्क का रहेगा एंड डिस्क का फॉर्मूला आपको पता है इट इज एम आर स्क्वायर बाय टू ये हुआ आई वन का वैल्यू ओमेगा वन मतलब टू पाई एन वन इनिशियली उसका रोटेशन का स्पीड हंड्रेड आरपीएम का इज इक्वल टू अब आई क्या होगा आई टू क्लियरली इंक्लूड करना है फाइनल ठीक है सो डिस्क तो था And small n क्या है? Small n is nothing but the mass of a, which is 1.6 kg. Okay? And then omega 2, that is 2 pi n2. This is the most important step. ये अगर step अच्छे से समझ में आ गया, तो ये सब solve हो गया. सिर्फ calculation part बचता है. Okay? Now it's time to substitute the values. So therefore, m I'll write as 10. Into I'll write zero point four square divided by two into two pi m one hundred divided by sixty is equal to here also the same part ten into zero point four square divided by two plus m small m is one point six into x square into two pi n two का value है eighty divided by sixty Now let's make this calculation bit easier by cancelling few things. Yet two pi cut four sakta hai. Sixty, sixty also can get cancelled. Okay, then we have over here this two and zero point four. Chalo, main ek aur step likh deta hu yahan par. Therefore, this I'll write as ten into hundred will give me thousand divided by two into zero point four into zero point four. Is equal to here. I will write the same way. Ten into zero point four into zero point four upon two plus one point six x square into I will write it. Okay. So two ones are zero point two. Okay. Here also zero point two. Now directly sub multiply कर देते हैं. Whatever is possible at our end. Therefore, if you observe this part. Four to the eight, and then one two three, and then the decimal before two digits. So this is how I will get only eighty over here is equal to here four to the eight, then one zero, then decimal before two digits. So I get over here zero point eight zero plus one point six x square into eighty. So I hope you understand ये 80 और 80 तो cancel हो गया. So therefore हमारे पास इधर one बचता है. ये plus point eight इधर आएगा तो minus point eight is equal to one point six x square. So therefore our next step I am writing over here. Therefore this will give me point two is equal to one point six x square. So therefore next step x square is equal to one point six divided by Sorry, I'm so sorry. Two divided by sixteen. Decimal shift करना. And that is how I will get one upon 
8. Square root ले लो रे, तो therefore x is equal to 1 upon root 8. This is our answer. Physics में definitely आपको ये decimal तक solve करना चाहिए, but I think root तक आ गया, so you know square root लेना आपको log table में से, and then one numerator में है, so definitely reciprocal लोगे, so you will get the answer in decimal. Got this? So this is how this sum is done. Okay, students, we are moving for the last question of this chapter. Okay, last numerical. You can observe that it is written starting from rest, object rolls down an incline. Okay, object niche roll kar hai. And here there is written very interesting line that it rises by 3 in every 5. Ye line ko achche se samdho. It rises by 3 in every 5. This ka meaning hai ki ye jo height hai, it is rising by 3 meter. And this inclined distance can be 5 meter. Okay, quite interesting line to understand. So you know that Pythagoras triplet, ye 3, ye 5, so definitely ye kya hoga? 4. And this angle is theta. So the diagram dekhe samaj na aajayega ki iska theory topic hum logne liya tha. Lecture number 13, ab observe kar lena. Wohi formula hum use karne wale hai. Jo lecture number 13 mein sikhaya. Then what they have said, the object gains a speed of root 10. So velocity is root 10 meter per second. As it travels a distance of 5 by 3 meter along the incline. So this meaning that the object is not coming to the whole Okay, It is coming somewhere here. Here for example. And this distance is This distance they have given as 5 divided by 3. Okay. And what they have asked. कि शेप क्या होगा ऑब्जेक्ट का नाउ व्हाट डू दे मीन बाय दिस शेप मतलब ये ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्क है या रिंग है या स्पीयर है दैट इज व्हाट दे हैव आस्क सो वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड द शेप इज इट अ रिंग इज इट अ डिस्क और इज इट अ स्पीयर ओके सो इन दिस केस हमको k स्क्वायर बाय r स्क्वायर का वैल्यू फाइंड करना चाहिए एक्चुअली वो भी लिख देता हूं if you have seen lecture number 13, in this one, I have told you k square by r square ke values se, humko samaj mein aata hai ki wo ring hai ya disk hai ya sphere hai. Okay? So, let's try to understand how to solve this question. Humko formula pata hai velocity ka. Velocity formula is root of 2gh 1 plus k square divided by r square. So, isko square kar denge. So, square and this root will go off. ठीक है अब इसमें हमको v का वैल्यू पता है k स्क्वायर बाय स्क्वायर तो फाइंड करना है एंड h का वैल्यू भी पता होना चाहिए नाउ यू विल से h क्या है सर h तो ये हाइट ही होता है व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 3 नो no, h का वैल्यू 3 लेना नहीं है द रीजन इज ये हाइट कंप्लीटली बॉटम तक है बट स्फीयर जो है वो बॉटम तक कहां पहुंचा है वो तो इधर तक ही पहुंचा है करेक्ट और नॉट 5 3 तक ही पहुंचा है तो हमको इतना ही हाइट चाहिए ओके जब स्फीयर यहां पर है तो इतना हाइट चाहिए so how we can find out that? So हम क्या कर सकते हैं इसमें? हम इसमें sine theta apply कर देते हैं. Let's apply sine theta. Sine theta, you know, it is opposite upon hypo. So that is how I can write h divided by five. Okay. So h का value I can write five sine theta. Got this? Now हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं इसमें? We are going to write the value of theta over here also. Clear? Yeah? Value of theta over here. So in that case, value of theta, if you observe uh, corresponding angle, so here also I can write this h, actually find and then this distance aega. I hope you understood this. So here 5 into ye jo height hai hamara, wo main h dash se denote kar deta. Okay? So here sin theta ka value aega h dash opposite ठीक है अपॉन हाइपो क्या है मेरा इधर 5 डिवाइडेड बाय 3 व्हाट दिस और ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस है ये h और ये h डैश में डिफरेंस समझो दिस h इज द हाइट कंप्लीटली फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम व्हेरएस h डैश इज द हाइट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टिल दिस पॉइंट एंड वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन h डैश हम यहां पर h डैश का वैल्यू सब्स्टिट्यूट करने वाले हैं Okay, so h dash हमको find करना है और ये h का value हमको पता है, which is how much three. So I think हमारे last step में answer आ जाएगा. If you observe, ये five पे cancel हो गया. Okay, so h 
इज इक्वल टू थ्री एच डैश ये थ्री ऊपर जाएगा ओके एच का वैल्यू हमको पता है दिस इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू थ्री ओके तो दिस वर्ड कैंसल एंड फाइनली एच डैश का वैल्यू हमको क्या मिला वन ओके सो दिस इज द हाइट दैट वी नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट ओवर हियर बट दिस अब बहुत सिंपल है आगे का पार्ट वन प्लस ए स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर इधर आया इज इक्वल टू टू जी एच डैश अपॉन बी स्क्वायर आई होप यू आर नॉट कंफ्यूज बस वैल्यू सब्सटीट्यूट करना है तो टू इंटू टेन एच डैश वी गॉट वन बी स्क्वायर ठीक है स्क्वायर करोगे तो ये भी टेन हो जाएगा यू गॉट दिस कैंसल यहां पर टू बचा है वन प्लस के स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर सो देर फोर k square by r square is equal to two minus one. That is one. So we have understood that k square by r square का value हम लोग इससे find कर सकते कि moment of inertia क्या है. एक example बता दो. Lecture number thirteen में भी बताया. Like two by five m r square. ये sphere का moment of inertia. So ये जो value होता है. This is the k square by r square for sphere. So हमारे पास two by five आया है. No. So ये object तो sphere नहीं है. Then this का क्या होता है एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू सो यहां पर क्या है हाफ है के स्क्वायर बाई आर स्क्वायर का वैल्यू दिस के लिए क्या हमारे पास वो आया है नो सो दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट डेफिनेटली स्पीयर रिंग का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है रिंग का फॉर्मूला होता है एम आर स्क्वायर सो यहां पर क्या है आगे वन एंड वही हमको वैल्यू आया है सो के स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज वन फॉर वॉट रिंग एंड दैट इज हाउ वी कैन कंप्यूट That shape of the object is nothing but ring. Okay, so this is how this sum is also completed, and in all respect, this chapter rotational dynamics is completed with theory as well as numericals. Thanks a lot for cooperating and watching my videos.